I have the solution to the portal paradox, and I could make you wait to see the results, but I value your time more than I value my retention rate. But stick around after for an explanation. In case you aren't familiar with it, the portal paradox asks the question, what happens if you slam a portal down on top of a stationary cube? Does the cube stop after leaving the exit portal, or does it shoot out? So you may have some questions right now. Why does it look like Portal is running on a potato? Well, that's because this is my Nintendo 64 DMake that runs on real hardware. So why am I DMaking Portal for the Nintendo 64? So does not using Source Game Engine invalidate this test? I don't think so, here's why. Moving portals aren't implemented in Portal, so it's impossible to test this in the original unmodified engine. So implementing moving portals in Source Game Engine or on my own would be the same, since I would have to write the new logic the same way regardless of which engine I write it in. Now you may be thinking, well, I just implemented moving portals to get the results I expect, and if I wanted different results, I could achieve them. Fair enough, but let me explain my justification. For starters, I rely on the fact that motion is relative. If the cube and the portal are moving towards each other, it doesn't matter if the cube or portal is moving. All that matters is their relative velocity. When the cube enters the portal, I determine the relative velocity by taking the box velocity and subtracting the portal velocity. In order to satisfy the rule, speedy thing in, speedy thing out, I rotate the relative velocity to point out the exit portal, then add the velocity of the exit portal to get the cube's new exit velocity. The end result is the cube comes shooting out of the exit portal as the piston slams down over the stationary box. If you think my approach is wrong, then show me the flaw in this equation. One argument I hear a lot as to why the cube won't shoot out of the exit portal goes as follows. Now imagine you have the portals back to back, and then slam them down over the cube. You wouldn't expect the box to jump up since it's like slamming a hula hoop over the cubes. Well, let's test this with my implementation. So this behaves as you would expect. It doesn't shoot out, but why does the behavior seem inconsistent between tests? Well, that's because the two tests aren't the same. In the first example, the exit portal is stationary, whereas the exit portal in the second example is moving down at the same speed as the entrance portal. The relative velocity between the cube and the entrance is the same as the cube and the exit after the cube teleports. This is also true for the so-called portal paradox, the relative velocity after teleporting is maintained, so it flies out the exit portal. If you want to follow the progress of Portal 64, please subscribe to the channel for updates. And also, feel free to tell me how I'm wrong in the comments below. And don't think that this video delayed Portal 64. To get this little side project to work, I had to implement movable level elements, which will be very important in many test chambers moving forward. I even built out most of test chamber... I even built out most of test chamber 6 to do the experiment in. So expect a regular update video when I see you next time. And until then, take care.